This segment we're going to cover three other basic judo throws. So we're going to do Ogoshi, we're going to do Sirinagi, and we're going to do Ippon Sirinagi. So we're going to start with a very basic skill that is required for all the three throws, the back step. So the back step in judo, it's a very special technique here that will help you with any hip throw. And that goes not only for judo, but any hip throw that you might try to hit in wrestling. So even without a gi, you're going to still need this skill here. So let's say my opponent stands right here. Once again, let's make his stance a little wider. My first step is going to come from my regular stance and across to my left side and forward, right here. So this is my first step. And this step here, I don't want to overcommit my weight to my lead leg. Why? If I do so, that means my heel is going to touch the ground. And once I try to back step here, there will be a lot of drag from my heel being touching that mat. So what I want to do here is that first step, I step with the ball of my foot right here. And my heel is off the ground. That will allow for a faster transition into the back step. Now once I get that first you know, step, that first foot right there, all I got to do is step with a trail leg. My trail leg will step through and I'll just hold the gi here so you guys can notice what I'm going to do. My back step will come through and I'm going to come to this position. Once I establish that position, it's very easy to lift. It's very easy to lift. It feels like a feather here. But it's important for me to do a couple of things. Number one is to move very close to him. I got to make sure that I'm underneath my opponent. The second thing is to keep my legs bent. If I back step with my legs, already stretched, I'm going to have to lift him with my lower back, which is not a good idea. I want to lift him with my legs. So I step in close. The second thing that I want to do is step in with my legs bent, right here. Now, once I do this here, my trail leg will come also bent. And the third important thing is that I'm stepping inside his base, here. So I can, you can see right there that my base is inside James's base not outside like this. So if you watch it right here, watch the footwork here. The first step comes here, all right? The trail step steps in. Watch my heels, they are off the ground. This is hard to accomplish at first, but now the lift becomes much easier. When I do my back step, I also have to maintain good grip. Now, for every hip throw out there, I'm going to require an aggressive, strong grip on this side here if I'm throwing him to my left. The other grip, it depends on which throw I'm using. So we're going to start by demonstrating the ponceoid.